today we are going to see how to publish in Sitecore. What is the difference between incremental publish, smart publish, republish, and we will see publishing restriction. Welcome to my channel, my Sitecore Diaries. I am Jitendra Ghanikar. I am a Sitecore architect from Mumbai. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click on a bell icon to get latest update. So today we are going to see what is public publishing in the uh, site for what is the difference between the incremental smart and publish option and what is the publishing restriction. So let's start. Let us first uh, see how data flows in site for how they how data is getting created in this site for. So developers uh, creates templates which has a data structure. They create a presentation on that uh, items and uh, they provide the configuration. Whereas editors create pages, add contents, do a translation and apply some personalization. And all these activities they are doing on the content management website. Okay. So content management website stores data into the master database. So whatever content which is getting created from the developers and editors which is getting stored in master database that's the reason why master database we call this as a in progress database. So all the unpublished data is stored in the master database. Then there is a web database okay so when you publish the uh, uh, data from the master then that data get uh, stored into the web database and web database is connected to the content delivery website so that is your live website so that is the reason why we called as a web database uh, as a live live database and it store it contains the published data and then this website renders the uh, the content or the output on uh, the depending on their layout uh, devices uh, other different devices okay and that is outputted to the users so that is how uh, the uh, simple data flow works so developers and uh, editors works on a content management website they, whatever in the world whatever they work that store get stored into the master database once they confirm then they publish it and once they publish the data that master data will get uh, uh, into the web uh, web database so that process where we move the data from master to web is called as a publishing in site code let's see how publishing wizard Looks in the site code. So in site code, we have a two interface where a user can publish, content editors can publish, or authors can publish the data. First is a content editor. In the content editor, on the menu, you have a two option in the publish, publish site, which is publish the entire website, and another option is a publish item, which which publish uh, the selected item, whatever item we are selected that get published. So the the how does the wizard looks like so for the uh, publish entire website you will have this kind of a wizard and for the item we have a this kind of a wizard whereas in the experience editor this is the experience editor here you can publish only the selected item i think proper experience editor whatever you are showing you have the item that can be published so it will have only the publish item option so when you click on publish it will open the publish item in this uh, uh, wizard if you see here for the publish side there are three type of a uh, publishing one is an incremental publish second is a smart publish and third is a republish so we will see in detail what is this then you have a publishing languages so whatever the languages which you want to select that uh, that is in the publishing language then you have publishing target it is but basically a database where you want to publish this content okay so by default the uh, the target is a web but but you can configure it okay uh, so that will be not in our scope for this video how to configure the publishing target but we can have a multiple target okay then uh, you see there is another option here in the item like publish sub item we'll see what is that and then you have a publish related item also so we'll see that option also how it works so let's see publishing type there are three publishing type incremental smart and republish so when you will say about the incremental publish it publish everything in the publishing queue we will see what is publishing queue later 
okay uh let's let's do one thing we will we will see incremental publishing later okay first let's see what is smart and what is the republish okay smart uh publish smart publish is some uh what happens in smart publish it compares master db and targeting your uh, target database okay so assume that we have a target database web then it compare master db and uh, web db for that item and if there is any difference found then that item get published otherwise it doesn't get published so it is advisable to have it on the item level okay because it, it is comparing it okay so if, if it is for that operation is there so it is always advisable that it, you should be doing it at the item level okay then uh, republish uh, republish is nothing but publish everything it, it will publish everything and it will overwrite an item okay so we when you select any item and you republish it doesn't compare anything it just copy that one of uh, the, the item from one database to another database okay ideally we do not read this okay we, we do not read this, uh, require this okay so we generally use a smart publishing or incremental publishing okay so let's see first of all what is publishing queue so publishing queue is one of the table in this site code okay which store a historical and current item data which needs to be published so when you use a incremental publish it it adds that data item into the queue okay that queue is nothing but a site a table in the site code which is called as a publishing queue so every time you add it it will get added into the queue and then that queue is getting published sequentially okay so publish everything in the publishing queue so the incremental publish is basically publish everything but in the publishing queue okay and it do not compare items like in smart publish it do not compare the item okay it available only on the website level so it, it can be done only on the website level you don't have an option this incremental publish option for the uh, item level okay and then uh, it is fastest among all okay so incremental publishing use the publishing queue for publishing then uh, you have seen uh, there is an option on the publishing wizard which is uh, there is there is a uh, uh, radio button which, uh, which you, sorry there is a checkbox where you say publishing related item okay so publish what is publish related item okay so <coughs> publish related item what it means is whatever item you have selected whatever uh, for that item whatever the reference item or a related item publish that now what do you mean by related items what it consider it considers clones so if there is any cloned for that item then it consider as a reference item if there is any media items which is used in that item then it is considered as a uh, as a related item if there is any data source used in that then that data source is also considered as a reference item any design element so when you are publishing that item that might be having some rendering layouts or templates whatever design elements which are applied that also considered as a related item and allies is also considered as a related item so when you say publish related item when you select that it means it is not just you are not just a publishing that single item but it is also uh, publishing all these things it whatever the cloned item of that whatever the media items is associated with that whatever the content item associated with that, whatever the design item associated with that and whatever the allies is associated with that so that is publisher related item then you have a publishing a publish sub item as my name suggests it's it's publish all the sub item or a child item okay and we already have seen that what is publishing languages it basically target languages which language you want to publish then you have a publishing target so that it will your target database okay publishing destination in site code you can stop an item from being pushed to your live site using publishing destination it allows you to specify exactly when an item or a specific version of an item is publishable in also it allows you to uh, specify the targeting uh, database also target database also assume that there is a some some campaign where you are running on a specific date for a specific language then you can utilize this functionality to keep that expected uh, page on live website only for both specified duration however 
it is not an automated process so please remember it is not an automated process you have to manually publish uh, publish the item okay so in the publishing wizard you have an option where it will restrict those items to get published during the provided uh, dates okay so let's see so in site for uh, you contain editor you will have the publishing section in that there is a change okay change button okay where you will see here a restriction so that is where you can set up the restriction once you click on that it will open this uh, this wizard okay so you have a three option version item and targets in the version on the version tab the item versions in the current language are listed so whatever the items which were selected for that language, whatever the language which you are selected, what number of item number of versions are still getting selected? Okay. By default, each version is publishable. If you see here a publishable checkbox, so it means that I am publishing the one I can publish the one uh, item version. Okay. If it is not, if you uh, remove this uh, checkbox, then it will not get published. So you can specify which i which version you want to publish so there might be 10 versions here so which version you want to publish from which date to from when to what where so from publisher publishable from date and publishable to date okay so that to that specified time duration your sorry date the you can provide okay, that is the version and when you say uh, next one is the item in item you will have a publishable checkbox so it is for all the version okay all item versions are publishable okay if you specify the date during that time only it will specify how it will publish if there is a no date respect then it will always get published okay so you can specify that uh, that duration when you can publish it then you have a target so as i said you uh, before that you can have a multiple targets also generally we have a web data target only you can have a multiple target there might be a case that you have a one CMS and you are and you are uh, having a two uh, CD website. One is for the pre-prod environment, another is for the prod environment. So you are publishing the content to the pre-prod and you confirm it, and then you go, maybe you are doing a UAT and then then you are pushing it to the prod environment. In such in such scenario, you can select which which target you need to publish it. Okay, so that is the uh, target one. So to restrict all the item version to publish only to a certain published target on the target tab, select the relevant publishing target. This apply to all the version of the item in the log library. And please note, this is not an automated process. You need to manually publish an item. So whatever time date you are selected, if you didn't publish it manually, it is not going to be published the item automatically, or it is even not going to unpublished item automatically. If you have any question, you can email me on my email address. This is my email address. Uh, you can connect me on LinkedIn also. This is my LinkedIn ID. If you like my video, please like, uh, share and comment on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, this will motivate me to give, uh, bring new, new uh, videos. Please click on a bell icon to get the latest update. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.